In this video, we will show you the PT Booth A1 Plus in action as a photo booth only, as a video booth only, as a video and photo booth at the same time. The first is the photo booth only mode. This mode will enable you to take photos, print photos, and record video during photo sessions. Please note that to take photos you can use either the Canon camera or web camera, and the video recording does require a web camera. With photo booth only mode, PT Booth A1 Plus will produce the following. It will produce a folder with all of the taken photos. It will also produce printed copies saved in a PDF file if you have enabled that function. It will also create a folder with all of the video recorded during each photo session and once again as long as you've enabled that option. The first folder is where all of our pictures are. Inside this folder you will see individual folders with take numbers. Each take folder includes individual photos taken by the camera. The second folder is where all of the PDF files are stored. Inside of this folder you will see some PDF files. These PDF files are copies of what were printed while we were running the PT Booth software and they're all separated by the take number. The third folder is where all of our videos are stored. So it's important to note that this folder will be created only if you choose to record video in the PT Booth admin. Inside this folder we have all of the video files that were recorded during each of the photo sessions and they're separated by the take number. The second is a choice of video or photo booth mode. And this mode will enable you to have all of the available functionalities. You'll be able to take and print photos, record video during the photo sessions, and record individual video messages. Please note that to take photos you can use either the Canon camera or web camera, and the video recording does require a web camera. With choice video or photo booth mode, the PT Booth A1 Plus will produce the following. It will produce a folder with all of the taken photos. It will also produce printed copies saved in a PDF file if you have enabled that function. It will also create a folder with all of the video recorded during each photo session and once again as long as you've enabled that option. And a folder with all of the video recorded during each video session. The first folder is where all of our pictures are. Inside this folder you will see individual folders with take numbers. Each take folder includes individual photos taken by the camera. The second folder is where all of the PDF files are stored. Inside of this folder you will see some PDF files. These PDF files are copies of what were printed while we were running the PT Booth software and they're all separated by the take number. The third folder is where all of our videos are stored, so it's important to note that this folder will be created only if you choose to record video in the PT Booth admin. Inside this folder we have all of the video files that were recorded during each of the photo sessions and they're separated by the take number. The last folder contains the video messages that were recorded during individual video sessions. This is video type 2. Inside this folder, we have all the video files that were recorded during each individual video session separated by the take number. And it's important to point out that this folder will be created only if you use video booth mode. And the third is video booth only mode.
Now this mode will enable individual video message recordings. And it's important to point out that a web camera is required to record video. No photos will be taken or printed in this mode. This can be used only with the web camera to record video. With the video booth only mode, PT Booth A1 Plus will produce a folder with all video recordings during each video session. Inside this folder, we have all the video files that were recorded during each individual video session separated by the take number. For more information, please visit our website at www.ptbooth.com.